81 years since the attack that propelled the U.S. into the Second World War. Oklahomans gather to honor the lives lost. News 9's Chris Yu shows us how they paid tribute. December 7, 1941. The USS Oklahoma was moored at Pearl Harbor when it was sunk by Japanese aircraft. Here in Oklahoma City sits the anchor from that very ship, and it was around this anchor where people gathered today to mark 81 years since that attack. Today is not a day of celebration. It is for remembrance only. Remembrance of the more than 2,400 Americans who died during Pearl Harbor. America had been surprise attacked including 429 sailors and Marines on the USS Oklahoma. Here come 300 enemy fighters. Wednesday morning, the Moore VFW presented a ceremony at the anchor of the USS Oklahoma in OKC. Let us all be grateful. Families of Pearl Harbor survivors attended the ceremony among them was Cindy Standridge, daughter of Art Gruber, who was on the USS Tennessee in Pearl Harbor when the attack happened. When the Arizona blew up, he was blown clear across the fire room. Standridge's father survived the attack and vividly remembered the many who didn't. When the Oklahoma capsized and they tried to cut the hole so that they could get the men out. And the welders were there, they had cutting torches and they tried everything to get those men out that they could. Also at the ceremony was Jason Gruber, Art's grandson. It's too bad Grandpa can't be here. He would have loved to see this and would have appreciated the support. Support from veterans, the JORTC, and people of all ages. Here's the call. In Oklahoma City, Chris Yu, Oklahoma's own News 9.